what's going on guys it is me you sit by here it's been a week no excuses i've just been lazy and just didn't make a video at all i'm in the process of doing my room as you can see this this is going so i've sanded this bit down here that's where some plaster was where we plastered where the cupboard was before and let's do all the architraves to go on here Ow. and the skirt board down here so I've got some some old oak countertop for my shelves I'm gonna make. They're going like along here like that, like a L shape. That should be pretty good. I'm gonna cut them down and chamfer them myself. Right, I'm using a block plane, something like this. And my my tutor was kind enough to lend me one of his college. So I'm thankful, really thankful for that because it cost about £40 for a decent one. I didn't have that sort of funds at the time, so that's good. And so I'm, I'm going to, I don't even know how much we've got. That's probably about 30 kilos. There's two bits and then there's one bit down there with the monitor on. Because that PlayStation or shit earlier. Everything's a mess, the bed's there. There's another bit here, these are for the support braces. I'm going to use the shell so it doesn't fall on me and crush my face in my sleep. And then there is a bit of skirting there that I couldn't get off because of the radiator, so I'm going to need to multi tool that off, take it off. Yeah, so I don't know how, how I'm going to do this because I need to put it on something to support it. Um, I could have used a windowsill, but I don't know. I'll put it down there. This thing is fucking huge. Oh, this was already camping. Get the block plane. This is a standing one, these this is one of the good ones. I'd recommend if you do if you do ever want to start, the standing is a good sort of make it. Go with five. I want to show you how to set up. Block I'll, I'll do that in a video when I've got my own one. Do because I don't want to take it apart and be like, oh shit, help me out, you know. So there is two pieces that I've got. I'll worry about the second and the third one later. So there's one and two. Um, yeah, fuck, I'll still the floor. Right. One side is already sort of done, I think that was with a router. Obviously a router is a lot easier. But I don't have one to hand. To obviously router the edges. So oh, so this to start with Jesus Christ. You're all gonna want a bucket of pencil to mark out where some of the is under it. Fucking zip just broke. Fantastic. Okay, pencil. You'll probably want something around 2H because that's a harder than HB. 
so it won't break as easy when we're using it on wood. So that's always fantastic. Right, I'll show you down. Okay, so with this, you can pick up things like that, and then you can just mark further far away you want it. Look at this. Pretty much in a straight line. <laughs> so if you do that, all the way up. And just get a ruler and measure out through then square it across but you just need to practice this technique where you just rest it against your finger there and just slide it along so it will just save you so much time So there is a massive difference between them and them. But that's okay, that one now. Whatever size you want your edges to be, like planned out, it's fine. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Just recording for about a minute of talking, then that's good. That was the original shape of it. So it's just put that down. This bit here is a little bit rounded, which is just a little bit So that's quite a big point. I can always keep that. Obviously there are some things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Yeah, I do. Um, with the, uh, the scratch card series, it was beginning to bore the absolute shit out of me. So I didn't want to carry that on and uh, let you let that affect the video. I still also like the uh, football boots. I think I did do that. Right, I'll just do that. And with the boots, 
you got to do that. Please go ahead and leave a like on the video if you haven't seen it already. Much appreciated. hand this time. That looks like the left, but this is my left. <coughs> Something like Slightly out, obviously you can't see that, but it is slightly out. And you also you can put like a plastic sheet down to collect up all the dust shaming, but I'll just cover it with a plastic bottle. So I just uh, started doing that. Got a little bit of dust shaving. See that that's that's been done there. You can see the line just smooths it all off, so you don't get kind of that's been chamfered. So that's not sharp at all. So it won't cut myself open when I uh, headbutt it for some reason. Try to get up or something. Obviously with this, you can see. But the um, the individual sort of strips of wood, where they would get this, compact them all together and glue them all, so it forms a bond. Because that's definitely not one piece. In the shape of that at all. So. <coughs> so when you do this, if you want to do it yourself, just just grab, just make sure it's all smooth and nice. If you feel like it's too much or too little, do some more. Obviously that's just too little part. If it's too much, nothing you can do. Just make sure it's smooth and it'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Obviously I'll just speed that up and shit. See that up there. And I'll just come back to you guys when it's done, I guess. I'll just wanna talk. Oh obviously. Do a quick little cool time lapse for you guys. So yeah. Back in a minute.
there was a couple knots in the wood. You need to be careful of it. Because they will just chip the shit out of it. As you can see, I don't know where it is. Right here. Up it there. It can sort of fuck up if you do it the wrong way for the grain. Um, obviously, going down it like that on the edges, that will be a lot easier because that will follow the grain in the wood. Um, but, um, it's something you can do if there's a knot in there. You can't sort of unfuck it. So. <laughs> Okay, so it's done. It's all done here. Huh? After I fuck knows how long. It's done. Right. Okay, so. Now there's down here. Shampooed. Shampooed across the doors. There's a bit of a breakout. So that's not it. Never mind. This bit here is a lap of a breakout. really pissed me off. Um, that's just break out there. One thing we can do about it is coming from this side and that side from across and it's split off. It's not too big a deal to worry about. One thing it's out of the side. Okay, so it is all done now. That's probably the best one in the whole fucking thing. That plane just glided along that final piece so nicely. This piece so fucking smooth, I think. Right. Obviously, I have to do that with the other two. But that's just how to do chamfering on like a shelf. You're gonna make yourself. So obviously during the summer holidays, I'll obviously go more in depth with different stuff. So until next time, I am used to sit and I'll see you guys. Later.